Welcome to Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft. And uh, this video has been like seven months in the making. So uh, seven months ago, I took a uh, a squash or gourd, a squash that I had purchased uh, and placed it in that bag right there, which is actually a bag that had potatoes in it, I believe. And I hung it out to uh, basically mold and rot and, and, and all through the winter time. So now is the time to when I, uh, I'm going to take that out, I'm going to sand it down and I'm going to make myself a nice little uh, container out of it. Seven months in the making. Let's continue. All right, how's everybody doing? Got Violet here with me. Oh, this is my girl. This is my girl. So anyway, <clears throat> I've had this uh, squash. I bought it at Walmart, and I put in this uh, potato bag here. And uh, I set it outside about seven months ago, wasn't it? it was about seven months ago. And uh, all through the winter and everything. So this is a video of seven months in the making. So anyways, I'm going to sand it down a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the top of it off and make a little, little something out of it. Anyway, I just got some sandpaper here. Just gonna kind of sand a little bit of the, a little bit of the uh, mold and stuff off of it. So anyway, this looks like it's probably going to take a while, so to save the misery of you guys sitting around and watching me sand this for the next half hour, and to save battery, I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off and I'll get back with you when I get a little bit closer. So I'm just sitting around, I'm just trying to sand off some of the uh, the mold on it without sanding down all the nice little bumps and stuff. As you can see, it's starting to not do too bad. So as soon as I get the outside done, I'm going to take a Dremel and. Uh, Cut the top of it so that I can make a little little opening, and I'll get back with you here in a little bit. I've tried to get in the little nooks and crannies without damaging the natural aspects of the gourd. I haven't done too bad. You can see, you can tell the difference now from the way it was to how it was before. It's looking a lot better. Uh, I'm probably not going to do a whole lot more sanding. 
maybe a little bit here and there try to get in there again I mean I'll always see something that I want to fix eventually I'm just gonna have to stop and say it's good to go but uh, and I, I keep going So anyway, I'll probably continue on this, who knows how long. A uh, little bit here and a little bit there. Eventually I'll stop. But uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to take it inside, get my Dremel, and I don't know, I can cut it maybe about, I don't know, here or there, I can't decide which, somewhere around here on the top. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to drill a couple holes in it so that I can attach some cordage to make like a little lid that will flop back on and off. So uh, I'll get back with you when I get that done. Before I do that, I'm still a little more sandy. actually kind of fun and relaxing. I love little tedious stuff like this. It keeps me occupied. Alrighty. Alright, so I got it cut. <clears throat> I used my Dremel and I cut it. Hey, calm down. Calm down. And uh, basically the inside of it here. And you can see in there. nice and a bunch of seeds and stuff down there I can feel them so what I'm gonna oh yeah little nice little dried seeds here hmm that's kind of cool looking so there we go here's all the seeds that were in there I don't know since they're dried out, I don't even know if they're any good. They're dried out like that, they may be still good. I may be able to plant these. I'm going to do a little bit of research. I wouldn't see why they wouldn't be plantable. So, I'm going to set those all right there. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to use the Dremel to... Uh, Nah, it's probably too dangerous. I gotta find something to get in there. Some of that sandpaper. I'll probably bring that sandpaper out here. We'll sit there and work that sandpaper around here. Try to get some more of that stuff out of there. And uh, be back with you in a moment. I uh, I didn't want to try the Dremel because I was a little too concerned that it might be a little little too much, too rough. Plus, it's just not backwoodsy enough for me. I'm gonna use sandpaper. and piffy. This is going to be a good fire starter too. Get some of that out of there. Ooh, look at that. That would be a good fire starter. You know what? After I get finished with this, I'm going to do a video about starting this stuff. <laughs> Set that right there. Hopefully we can keep it and the wind don't blow it away. Oh, yeah. Well, okay, I, actually I could put it in here with this. Thank you. Good idea, dear. So I set it in here with the with the seeds. 
is I think I'm just going to go ahead and plant those because, uh, like I said, it took seven months for this <laughs> for me to do this. And uh, doing just one is fun, but it takes seven months for these things to, to dry up and get to this uh, stage. So if I could do like 8, 10, 12 of them, at least have them ready, it would be a whole lot better than to just do one at a time every seven months. That's really nice. Take a look at that. That's actually kind of cool. Feel that. Why are you making me do this? Isn't that kind of cool? Looking at my rose plant out there, I need to go out there and weed it. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. Blooms since yeah. last night. And I've got another, it looks like I've got another bug up on it too. So I can I see it. I don't know if you can see it in there. Yeah, you can see it. There's a crack that goes all the way up there. Hopefully, uh, that was right where I was going to put the holes for the, to drill the two holes to put the cordage through, but we may have to think twice about that. So uh, now we're going to work on this one. So I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to stick this in there and just kind of whirl it around in there and get all that stuff so to uh, avoid boredom for you guys and to save my battery I'll be right back Woo that's some really nice tinder coming out of there I'm telling you I meant to do that. Alrighty, so uh, I've got it uh, pretty well cleaned out. Looking pretty good. Come here, B. Got this nice and cleaned out, and uh, I've drilled a couple holes on either side. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use some of this uh, green twine that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to secure it on there so I can make a nice little lid. Make sure I get it in the right spot. There we go. Alrighty, so this may be a little more difficult than I thought. There we go. So, uh, get it in there. Let's see, what should I do? Just tie a little knot there. Just going to tie myself a nice little knot here on the inside. And I'm just going to keep just making little simple knots that one spot I don't know five or six seven will be plenty here there we go let's make a nice little knot there and let's put one more in there just like this just for GP alrighty so then when I pull that through have a nice little knot there. 
And now we'll lay the uh, there we go. We'll lay that on there. Run that through. And we will leave enough of room. There we go. So it'll. There we go. That'll be nice. And all I'm going to do is not that as well. Nicely, very nice. So I'll just put five or six knots right there in that spot as well. And we'll do one more here real quick. Just for GP. GP means general purpose, by the way. Cut that. So now that'll sit on there. It's kind of tight. I have to do a little bit of stretch. There we go. Probably take a little bit of stretch in here or there. But anyway, then we got the back of it just like that. What I'm going to do is uh, put one in front to where you can tighten it like a nice little bow. And uh, I'll do the same thing with that and I'll get right back with you. Alrighty, so uh, here it is. <clears throat> what I did was I used some green twine for the front to hold it down and the green twine for the back and then I put some of the brownish natural color on it to make a little pouch or necklace out of it and I decorated it with a little feather that I found yesterday in the yard so it sits on like this here there you go and you can see a little gourd pouch not sure what I'm going to put in it uh, I think it might be kind of a, a catch-all survival kit. I'm not 100% sure. Um, if you guys have any ideas, uh, put them in the comments below. Uh, it can't be anything horribly heavy. I know that for sure. Um, I could change the, I could change the cordage. This is just kind of just twine cordage. I could put, uh, you know, 550 cord or something even better uh, than this twine here, but. Uh, I thought as a, a beginning starter idea that would work for right now. So if you guys have any ideas of what you could put in that, uh, put it in the comments below. Let me know what you think about it. And as I said, this is a seven, seven month process here. Uh, so I think I'm going to plant these seeds here. You will plant these uh, when it comes time to plant gourds, squash and stuff. And uh, Maybe I'll do a handful of these again next year. Uh, thanks for watching Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft, and uh, enjoy the outdoors.